We cannot let this situation go on. The Islamic State, the... They are people too. But we are as well. Donald Trump cannot, under any circumstances, become president. He will ruin the United States of America, and there's more pressing situations. Like those starving children in Africa, those people in Haiti, people all over the world need help. We cannot do these issues all at once, I understand that, but we need to look at them. ISIS, they're still human. Everyone is human. I don't care what you think, but all of us are human. And the fact that irradiating them, America is radiating, doing like bombs, it's hurting more than just civilians. Where are you? It's hurting the evil people and like all that, you know, but look at that side. But look at the others. It's hurting civilians. Radioactive particles fly into the air. And people get cancer because of it. Cancer. You, America, have affected some countries for life with the atom bomb. And then the Chernobyl incident, I don't know whose country that was, but, and the PBS not telling the students that the lead was in the water, that is not okay because we are the future generation that will make this world get back on its feet. We are the generation that can restore humanity and faith. We're that generation that is to be counted on. We're the important generation that needs help and nurturing. But yet, we are the generation that continues on the human race. So I ask of you, put down your weapons. Put down your weapons, please. Islamic State, put down your weapons. Taliban, put down your weapons. And everyone else, put down your weapons and talk. Peace is important. It's the key to life. It is what moves us. It is what Allah and God wants. God is Allah and Allah is God. I believe in God and you believe in Allah. We believe in both, I guess. But we cannot just let war go on. We need a compromise, and if Donald Trump does build that wall, well, he'll get it. I'll just probably, um, go up to him, or I'll just probably just leave a late hate comment on his YouTube videos or something. But, um, yeah. <sighs> not not. Oh, and anyone from ISIS, say hello. Just kidding. I don't know. I'm making no sense anymore. Boober dubbers, blick blick. Why was on such a great role? Um. But seriously, why can't we just sit and talk? Cause it was all Malaki's fault. He started this. He did not give equal power like he said he would, and so the Sunnis were peaceful at first, but they didn't get listened to. So, oh no, they went to violence. That has what got them the most attention, so they're going to continue doing that. But we need to respect their side also. But also, they need to respect our side. We cannot continue to hide each other's, quote, propaganda from each other because that will just make a person curious and then they'll think that person may be on the bad side because they're looking up stuff like ISIS kidnappings but even though that American citizen is just curious you know but we can't 
force what people can and can't watch anymore. It's the internet. You can you stick it off the internet, but it'll let it be still somewhere in someone's archives and they'll pop it up back on the internet just like that. Just like a snap. You know? You can't control everything, people. So, to... I'm sorry if I pronounced your name. Hola, Akbar Daddy. I'm sorry, sir, I cannot pronounce your name. Please calm down. Take a few deep breaths. Try to talk to someone that would listen to you. To President Obama. Chill out. Please. You're making the situation worse. You made the situation worse. Well, Bush did. I don't know who did making that power vacuum, but that opportunity got created. So technically, America did create ISIS, but they were not FBI created. And, well, I've heard a militant voice. Um, so I heard one of his voices on YouTube. I was just sitting out in public, and I heard him speaking to a friend, and then he turned like he was speaking about me. Creepy. Yeah. So guys, ISIS is already here. Let's just leave them be. They've done a lot of attacks. I hate those attacks, but I see why they did them. They want to be heard. They don't want bombs in their country no more. They just want peace. But to get peace, they feel they gotta be bloody. So, we gotta do something about this. We can't continue to bomb them. That'll make the situation worse. We need to have a compromise. A compromise. Doesn't anyone know what a compromise is or what common sense is? We need to know what that is in order to move on. Because this world, this society is corrupt. The U.S. government is corrupt. Like, just this whole system is corrupt and I'm tired of the corrupt system. And we as a people have the right to make it once more uncorrupt as the Constitution says. Because the government is effing up the Constitution. So let's make a change. Let's make the world peaceful and have a wonderful day.